The following program is rated PGR. It's good for kids, teenagers, and adults. Some scenes may include imagination. If you like what you see, please subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell. Now on with the show. <laughs> I don't fit in, and I don't want to fit in. The Watching Dead. So what's up dudes, it's your friendly neighborhood black guy, I'm Willie really Love. I'm a black geek that loves the freaking Walking Dead. Just to let y'all guys know, there's this whole talk about uh, Dead City versus Daryl Dixon. And everybody's saying Daryl Dixon is better. I'm glad we got Maggie and Negan's story. Need that to piece it all together. I'm gonna say I do love the Daryl Dixon uh, show more than I do, do love Dead City, but I need both of them. I need all the Walking Dead, all of it. Anyway, this is Daryl Dixon, season one, episode freaking five, and this one was like, I, this was a good ep episode, man. We saw Daryl, you know, lose his shit a little bit and yell at you know Laurent, and he called him worthless, but. It was all anger. It was all complete freaking anger. And a little kid cut the freaking boat so he wouldn't lose Daryl. He's really, really attached to freaking Daryl. But why wouldn't you be? Daryl is like the freaking man. And like we got to see like this Joan of Arc. I, I think she might have been a zombie hunter. But she was Joan of freaking Arc, man. Did you see that part where the, where the chick was all dressed with the armor and stuff like that? I, I totally dig Joan of Arc. She's like, uh, I don't know. I've done a book report on her. She's very, very cool to me. So anyway, so like um, the dude in the watch, that story was freaking cool the way he told it, like how it saved his life. But the boat man, I hate the way he freaking left the whole show, man. He freaking uh, accidentally ran up on a freaking uh, spike on a telephone pole. And that was interesting that his dad was actually um, a telephone wire operator, I guess. Really, really ironic, man, completely. And so like, um, and yeah, so freaking Isabel was thinking about freaking offering herself the whole freaking time that was messed up cause like um, she's all held up with Quinn so her whole freaking plan was to make sure that Laurent and Daryl made it through there safely and while she was with freaking Quinn I guess she's gonna freaking off herself but I really don't know chick's name but the chick that Quinn was messing with before Isabel came back into his loving arms uh, she freaking threw a monkey in the wrench or a wrench in the monkey you know whatever that was freaking completely crazy. She's, you know what, man? Even in the apocalypse, you can have freaking haters. And I guess Quinn didn't break it off but so nicely. But she knew as soon as he got Isabel back, she was going to be freaking old hat. And that's why she betrayed him like she did. And, like, did you see that part? To me, I'm not all, I'm not all like, religious or whatever. And definitely, I'm not definitely religious because of this particular season of the Daryl Dixon show. It's just the fact that things stand out. And what stood out with me... And Quinn and his ex chick, when she came up on him and kissed him on the freaking cheek, dude, that was like freaking Judas betraying Jesus. Mad crazy, right? So that being said, dudes, I love this freaking episode. We got the backstory of how he freaking got to France in the first freaking place, kidnapped, plain and simple. And that's where he freaking saw his first France freaking super walker. And that's what they're really doing this whole entire time. They're trying to make super walkers so I guess they can use them. And that's just been the thing of always of The Walking Dead. Where uh, you take the walkers or zombies and you use them as a freaking weapon. Hunt the dead, fear the living. That's The Walking Dead, my friends. Dudes, like, we got one more freaking episode left, man. And then I do fear that we will not get any kind of Walking Dead until, like, February of 2024 when we get to see The Ones Who Live with Rick and Michonne. Not The Rick Show, but The Ones Who Live. Dudes, it's been your friendly neighborhood black guy. I'm really love. Love this freaking episode. Daryl Dixon is the man. Oh, yeah. Totally got loner, lone wolf, and cub feels from this thing, too, because that was, like, whole, like the whole uh, Daryl and Laurent thing. Lone wolf and freaking cub. Dudes, I'm really love. I'm a black geek that loves The Walking Dead. And I will check you later.